Under the headline The Queen Without a Filter, the rarely private and open Queen Margrethe II gave an interview to Weekend Advice and Editor-in-Chief Martin Krasnick. The interview raised a fair number of taboo topics for Sue, so excerpts are published under the caption. At the beginning of the interview, the journalist naturally inquires about the Queen's sensational decision to change the titlui of Prince Joaquin's children. To be honest, it was not a very pleasant decision. I won't go into details, but I will say that it was important to me that Frederick didn't have to do it. It's better to let me do it, Queen says and elaborates. Let them think that's what the old woman decided. And yes, I'm not going to die yet. Queen says that death is very abstract to her and that she feels lucky because she doesn't have any serious ailments that could ruin her later years in a major way. I do not turn my back on death, nor do I avoid it, but I think little of it either. Crown Prince Frederick is ready to take possession, and this reassures the Queen. She says in the interview that what is decisive is how the monarch and the royal house grow with her country, and how deeply connected they are to it. This was the ideal for Her Majesty and her father, King Frederick IX, and her grandfather, Christian IX. Queen Margrethe II believes that it is this connection to the country and the people that the next generation, led by the future Frederick X, must realize. In the interview, the Queen also touches on her friendly relationship with Britain's Queen Elizabeth II, who passed away last September. She describes her as a role model and points out that they have a parallel destiny in the sense that neither was born to rule. They often met for lunch in London and it was, as Queen Margrethe says, definitely nice. When a journalist asks if Her Majesty has watched the crown in this regard, she replies, No, and I don't really feel like it. Queen Margrethe explains why. I know this family so well that it would irritate me to no end if they said things they would never say, or said things I don't think they would say. Here, Editor-in-Chief Martin Krasnick asks about the relationship with Prince Henrik, including how duty and marriage should come together. The Queen says she would not have married Henri de Montpise if her father had not allowed her to. Duty is paramount to the Queen, but as she says herself, she is lucky to have found the love of her life. On the other hand, she blames herself for not preparing her husband for what it means to be prince consort in Little Denmark. I didn't realize enough what the challenges really were. But I had so much work to do that we hardly saw each other. I was outrageously naive, if I may say so. It was difficult for a French gentleman of his caliber to play second fiddle. I fully realized this at a more advanced age. I was first fiddle and I didn't give it a second thought. And yes, Queen Margrethe II never thought about quitting smoking. She reveals this when Martin Krasnick asks if she ever resorted to nicotine gum and things like that. No. And now I'm so old, it doesn't matter anymore. 